Whoa, listen to this reaction for Bailey. Saxton, don't you dare start with that wacky, waving, inflatable, blah, blah, blah garbage you spit out every time you see your precious Bailey. Well, you're looking at the future right here. WWE Universe, you are looking at a superstar who is simply blessed to be the best, just naturally better than everybody else, even when only doing the bare minimum. Well, you talk about some of that natural athletic talent, Corey. Bianca's been exceptional her entire life. She earned all SEC and all American honors in track and field at the University of Tennessee. And if you just ask her, she'll tell you why she's better than everybody else. You got eyes, Byron, you understand. A freak in the weight room, a beast in the ring. Bianca Belair can do it all. And she's got a lethal hair whip. Stay tuned. And there's the bell, and here we go. Oh. This is the type of battle that you can show someone who's new to our brand of entertainment and say, this is what WWE's all about. I don't know who's looking more forward to this, the women in the ring or me. <laughs> Setting up for a neck breaker. What a stomp! Good grief! Now the old vicious head crank! Look at the torque. Oh, continuing to punish them! Ladies and gentlemen, by now I'm sure you've heard Bianca Belair describe herself as the EST of NXT. Corey, what exactly does that mean? I'll break it down for you, Michael Cole. It simply means that Bianca Belair is the strongest, the fastest, the smartest, and the baddest around. Did you see that? Corey, thank you for breaking down exactly what it means when Bianca Belair says she is the ist of NXT. But don't you think Bianca has a bit of an overinflated ego for somebody relatively new to the scene? 
Absolutely not, Saxton. Just ask top NXT stars like Candice LeRae or Lacey Evans if it was Belair's ego that beat them. Those were cases of Belair proving she truly is the est of NXT. She goes for the cover. And the champ kicks out. Just not enough damage done yet, Cole. I've seen some unique offenses over the years, Byron, but perhaps the most unique thing I've ever seen is when Bianca whips her opponents with her own hair. I have never seen anything like it, Michael. But I'll tell you what. If I was to give advice to anyone facing Bianca, it would be to turn the tables against her. Go ahead and penny predicament. And the champ kicks out. She's still in this one. Hooked up. And Benjamin Gutierrez. Oh, absolutely planted. To your point about Bianca's hair, Byron. I do think it's long enough that an opponent could likely use it as a weapon as well. Nope, that won't work. Grabbing an opponent's hair can lead to disqualification. Besides, everybody knows the best way to prevent Bianca from using her hair is to cut it off. A la Brutus the Barber Beefcake. She goes for the cover. Bailey kicks out easily. It's way too early. She's looking at it. She better do something fast. No, she escapes it. Yeah, I don't know if she had it locked in fully, Michael. Ooh, what impact. And Bailey evades that one. Bailey, what, what is she looking for here? Not in the corner. Oh my gosh. So impressive. Bailey is really applying pressure now, guys. Here comes Bailey. Harsh impact. Game, set, match. This one is over. The situation just got real bad for Bianca Belair. Shoulders on the mat. You have to hand it to the new champion. Bailey was just hungrier tonight. We got our money's worth with that one. Take a look. Look at her go. She's taking care of business. Remember this?
I really enjoyed every minute of this. It's all over, and Bailey stands victorious. You know, it didn't happen often, but I can attest, being pinned is humiliating. And I can imagine there aren't too many people at home regretting tuning in for that amazing match. Wow.